What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay, and I'm back at it with another banger. Now, in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to get sharpshooting takeover on the best all-around slashing playmaker build in NBA 2K21. And I will also be showing you guys the best badges to use with this slashing playmaker build. Now, like I was saying, bro, I've been playing around with this build, and I found out how you can get sharpshooting takeover on this slashing playmaker build. Now, if you guys do not know what slashing playmaker I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one that get all Hall of Fame playmaking badges. That's all. That's the only thing he get. Hall of Fame playmaking badges. That's the slashing playmaker I'm talking about, man. So look, bro. I'm finna go and show you guys how you can get sharpshooting takeover on that build. Like this sharpshooting takeover, the build was already good because it's super fast and it can ISO. But now sharpshooting takeover boosted up a little bit, bro. You feel me? So for the position you want to go, point guard. Your hand don't matter. Your jersey number do not matter. Now the fist, I mean now the skill breakdown you want to choose is this one right here. The all playmaking skill breakdown. So you want to choose this pie chart right here, man. This is the slash and playmaker I was talking about. For the physical profile, is you guys can choose out of two. If you guys want more speed, go with this one. If you guys want vertical in speed, go with this one. You feel me? As you guys see, the speed went down a little bit, but you got more vertical. So it really what you want. Do you want less speed and higher vertical or higher speed and less vertical? Me, I don't care about the vertical, man. It's all about speed with this build. So I'm going to go and the very first one. Now, you guys got to pay attention and see what I'm doing, man. Because if you mess up, if you put one upgrade where it don't supposed to be, you would not be able to get sharpshooting takeover, bro. So please just watch everything I'm doing and you guys will see how to get sharpshooting takeover on this build. So, you want to uh, come down here to shoot, mess out your mid-range, mess out your three-pointer, and put your free throw up until you get to 12 shooting upgrades. So put your three-pointer, I mean, so put your free throw on 83. Now, as you guys see, 12, this is all you need for this build. 12 is all you need. You can get Dead Eye Gold, Range Extender Gold, Hot Zone Hunter Gold, and Green Machine Gold. That's all you need, bro. So look. You want to keep your shooting on 12. Now, playmaking, you want to put your ball handle to it, say, 90. All right? So, put your ball handle on 90. And then, put your pass accuracy on 87. So, as you guys see, you will have 23 playmaking upgrades. Now, this right here is the only way you is going to be able to get sharp shooting takeover on this build if you put your pass accuracy on 87 and your ball handle on 90, bro. So, just leave your playmaking just like this. You want to come down here to defense. You want to mess out perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steals, uh, uh, defensive rebounds. Then you want to match your the offensive rebounds. Then your block, you want to tick it up until you get to nine. So you want to, all right, bam. So where you get to nine, then the lad eight and nine, you want to mess out driving dunk, mess out driving layup, mess out uh, your close shot. So as you guys see, man, you will have six finishing, 12 shooting, 23 playmaking, and nine defensive upgrades. So this right here, doing it this way right here, will be able to get you the sharp shooting takeover, bro, all right? And I'm finna show you guys that right now. So for the body shape, it don't matter. You can go with, a, with whatever body shape you wanna go with. I'ma just go, and go with slight. And one more thing before we get into how to get it, how to get sharp shooting takeover. Remember Mike Wayne said 95 through 99 overall will give you plus one to all your attributes. So once you hit 99 overall, you will get plus four to all of your attributes. So every time you see the stats move, remember to add plus four to that. So once you hit 99 overall, you will know what your stats will be, man. But let's get into it. For the height, I would recommend six foot five or six foot six. Do not go no taller than six foot six and do not go no shorter than six foot five. I honestly feel like six foot five and six foot six is the two best heights you can go with for this build. Now, if you guys want to go with another height like six foot four or six foot seven or something like that, then you freely, you can do that, bro. It's up to you. But I recommend, I recommend you guys stay at six foot five. Or you guys can even go up one to six foot six. Now it's completely up to you to what you do. But now I'm gonna show you guys how to get sharpshooting takeover if you are six foot five. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to get sharpshooting takeover if you are six foot six. So for six foot five, bro, you wanna put your wingspan at 77.9 or 77.0 all right if you guys go longer than 77.9 you would not be able to get sharp shooting takeover as you guys see i went longer than 77.9 and i cannot get slash i mean and i cannot get sharp shooter takeover so if you guys go 77.9 and below 
you will be able to get the sharpshooting takeover, bro. All right, so as you guys see, 77.0, I can get the takeover. 77.9, I can get the takeover. Anything longer than 77.9, I will not be able to get the takeover, bro. All right, so that's what you want to do if you six foot five. If you decide to go with six foot six, bro, this is what you want to do. You want to put your wingspan at 80.7 or below. Do not go no taller than 80.7 because you will not be able to get the sharpshooting takeover. So as you guys see, I'm going to leave it at 80.7. I will be able to get the sharpshooting takeover. Over. If I go down from 80.7, I can get sharpshooting takeover. Now, if I go taller than 80.7, I would not be able to get the short shooting takeover, but I would be able to get the lockdown takeover. So if you are six foot six and you're trying to get the short shooting takeover on, on this build, go with the wingspan 80.7 or below, bro. Alright, if you go taller than 80.7 for six foot six, you would not be able to get the short shooting takeover, man. Alright, so I'ma just gonna leave mine at 80.7. You can choose playmaking, shot creating, slashing, or sharpshooting. And of course you clicked on this video because of the sharpshooting part of this video. So we're gonna go and choose sharpshooter. And as you guys see, it's gonna say you have built a slashing playmaker man with sharpshooting takeover man. Now I'm just gonna throw in these badges just to help you guys out just in case you guys need help on these badges or anything like that, man. So for finishing, you can go a lot of different ways. You can go with silver uh, slithery, silver fancy footwork, silver, uh, contact finisher or you guys can go with silver giant slayer or if you don't care about a silver badge then you can just put about two gold badges now if i was to make this build i would most likely put two gold badges just because i don't really care for silver badges bro so if i was to make this build i would most likely go with this way right here slithery finisher gold and contact finisher gold now for shooting like i said shooting all you need is 12 Go Dead Eye, Go Hot Zone, Go Range, and Go Green Machine. Them is the only shooting badges you is going to need for this build, bro. Like, let's just look at your uh shooting upgrade. Like, what else can you get that will help this build out? Tireless Shooter, I don't know when the last 2K this badge really worked. Volume Shooter, I mean, I guess, but bro, really the main foe that you need is right here. Green Machine, Range, Hot Zone, and Dead Eye, bro. So I recommend leaving your shooting badges just like this. Then you want to come over here to playmaking. So for playmaking, of course, you want to have Handle for Days Hall of Fame, Quick First Step Hall of Fame. You can put Unpluckable Hall of Fame. Then you guys can do whatever you want to do with these last 11. Like you can put uh, Floor General Hall of Fame along with Diamond Hall of Fame. Then probably put Anchor Breaker Gold. Or you guys can put Bell Out Gold or uh, Face Crater Gold. Like it's so many different ways you guys can go with the playmaking badges, bro. Now, I were, if I was you guys, what I would do is I would have these badges Hall of Fame and probably have this badge on Gold. Gold, since I can only get another gold badge. This is what I was most likely to do because you is a playmaker. So uh you is a slashing playmaker at that. So you mainly heard to you feel me control the ball, ISO, make the right play. You feel me? So I feel like floor general and diamond is a must for this build. Handle for days a quick first step. Them is another must because you're gonna be having the ball majority of the time. So that will handle for days coming in at quick first step so you can be even faster with the ball and unpluckable so you can't get ripped and bail out just in case you get into a jump shot and they get out there fast or something like that then you can pass out of the jump shot bro so i recommend having playmaking like that now last but not least man we got defense so for defense you want to have clumps go all right want to put this go then you want to have intimidator on like silver or you guys can go with gold if you want to me i will most likely go with silver because i really feel like they're gonna patch this badge bro because it was so op last year and i feel like they're gonna bring the badge down just to like they're gonna tone it down bro so i feel like this ain't gonna be the same intimidator we know from nba 2k20 so i recommend you having this badge on silver then with the last four you can put uh gold interceptor and then you can probably put like bronze chase down or something like that now i, I would not recommend pick dodger unless we know it really worked bro because in the i don't know i don't know the last 2k that pick dodger really worked man you feel me but back to chase down artists if this badge is anything like nba 2k20 that and all you need this badge on is bronze and you will unlock the chase down animations so if this badge is like it is in 2k20 all you need this badge on is bronze and then you will like attempt to get chase down blocks you feel me so look man like i said if you want to go with pick dodger or something like that or even pick pocket you can go with whatever defensive badge you want to me if i was to make this build i would go gold interceptor silver intimidator gold clamps and bronze chase down orders bro i do not see any other badges up here 
that can that will even be you feel me reliable. Like you guys can say pit pocket, but bro, I don't feel like pit pocket gonna be that big this year. I mean, when we get the full game, then we will see if pit pocket will be big this year. But until we get the full game, bro, we don't really know if half of these badges is going to be like they was in older 2Ks. You feel me? Like uh, pit dodger and pit pocket. Like them is two badges that would be good to have. But like I said, we ain't got the full game. We don't know how it's gonna be this year. Like bro, we don't know if these badges gonna be even worth it. You feel me? Like Intimidator, Intimidator might work good on bronze. Like you never know, bro. You never know how Badger can change in NBA 2K21, man. Like you don't know how much these Badger can change, bro. So this would be my defensive badge lineup right here, man. I hope y'all boys enjoyed this banger, man. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more great content. It's your boy Jay, and I'm out. Peace.